you have this crazy ability <laughs> to solve and visualize these complex equations in your head, uh, which is so rare. How did this gift inform the idea you had for Declara? You know, it's, it's hard because it's interesting. You know, my last company, I was about three years ahead of myself, and that was painful because when I told people, you know, all the data is going to be stored in the cloud, everybody in the, everybody I'd talk to would go, what are you talking about? <laughs> and I'm not going to give you my data. And right. I was just like, it's coming. You're going to have to. But, you know, it's, it's hard to be that person who can see behind the corner, right? So, and then tell each other people who can't see around the corner what's around the corner because it's hard for them to visualize that. So the hardest thing for me is understanding and being able to see what's coming around the corner and being able to describe what's around the corner for people who can't envision that. So like rep reptiles can see two dimensionally. So when a hand comes around a lizard to pick it up, they don't know where that hand came from because they can't imagine that third dimension. So. Now imagine trying to describe certain things like the iPhone to somebody back in the 1700s. They'd think you were crazy. So, uh, or even to my grandparents. They right, would. I was gonna say, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just even to my parents who aren't here. But, you know, the whole concept of the iPhone is, is such a revolution and has changed business and and the world of the commercial business forever. So um, there are so many things that are coming and I see that they're coming. It's just hard to help people and scaffold them so that they're comfortable with what's coming. Um, for instance, like I've been in my own collections on and reading what people are learning and there are folks from MIT and Stanford collaborating together about brain to computer interactions and neuro um, mesh where in mesh is being injected into the brain and and someday having human to human internet so I mean these guys are even building things that are way out maybe not too far out in the future but they're further out in the future than even I'm developing in so it's it's interesting to see how the future is being created today and it's happening faster than we could have ever imagined.